guys welcome back to stuck in an island where i'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling yeah i've been out here for quite some time if i'm calculating right it's about five days i came out here on sunday midday about 12 1 o'clock and today it is thursday it's about uh 10 a.m right now but i'll be leaving here sometime around four or so um yeah I never got to achieve all the things that I wanted to do. For example, I wanted to set up a fish trap and go out there, but I'm gonna leave it somewhere here that I can find it. So on my next adventure here, I already have that bit of luggage out the way. Um, I'm feeling a little bit rough. You know, my hair is super dry because of salt water and stuff like that. I never, never got a shower last night. If you guys remembered in the video before this one, I believe where I was trying to head in from the storm it rained all the whole time and um, yeah it was kind of pointless so yeah it's a little bit rough out here but um, it's a good kind of rough you guys can see the waves crashing which is gonna pose a problem I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to leave here today because the waves are so rough I don't know if my my boat will be able to handle it but we will try we will try it should start raining at about 11 as far as I remember the, the weather thing saying so let's see what's gonna happen however we have a bit of good news I am going to a BNB, fortunately that's closed here I'll show you guys all that and I can't wait to be there just because yo I would like a hot shower wash my hair relax a little bit be in some air conditioning as much as I love it out here yeah these are some of the things that are our creature comforts as well and we don't mind having them around so hopefully I'll appreciate it a lot um, I might at the BNB work on a bread pudding I wanted to do it out here but as I said it never got to happen but I'll test I'll test it there and um, yeah more for the adventures yeah So for breakfast, I'm just gonna have this other half of the roasted breadfruit. I'm kind of trying to gear up. I took out the central part to kind of give me some more space here. Um, hopefully in future, I'm gonna get like a bungee cord thing that can strap, you know, like my cooler and tote, anything like that. Let's do my clothes in here. Don't worry about that. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna waste the space here for that. a little bit of butter to my breadfruit I don't know if you guys can see like how some of these waves are high well not those but sporadically they get higher and higher like that one come no it's not a yeah see that no typically for a regular boat that's kind of okay but no my bro you know what for other boats it's kind of okay but mine i think mine is rated for like six eight feet i don't remember that's gonna be a ton but i'm gonna wait it out and see how it goes oh my i'm done something is telling me dumping the last of my water to drop weight might be a dumb decision but i guess we'll see but I can't go over there too heavy. All right, so I'm basically just gonna tie everything down as best as I can. I ain't doing nothing special. I need to get some proper bungee cords. This I use the the handstand thing that's attached to the boat to hold this up a little bit. So it, even if it falls out 
I can bring it back in hopefully. Um, but as I said, I'm gonna work on a setup to fix that part. And um, I think I'm gonna get ready to head out by myself with just these two things. I don't wanna overweight myself. And um, yeah, let's see how that goes guys. Let's see how it goes. All right, just to be safe, I'm gonna make a couple passes out there before I even try to really venture out and see, see how it holds up. If it doesn't hold up well, then the waves, the current should push me back in. And I won't complain with that. All right. My GoPro memory card got full just now, but as you guys can see, I switched it out and I am still here. Now looking at those waves, to be quite honest, just trying to enter with the size of those waves was just ridiculous. Like it kept pushing the kayak back. I know myself alone would not be able to push that through. Plus with the, the weight of everything that's on the boat, it, yeah, it's really nonsensical, but I tried. Um, I'm sure if the kayak was out there, it would fear well enough, it could ride the waves. But in terms of the entry point, nah. Definitely, definitely doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to wait it out a little bit more, uh, see, see what will happen if the waves will die down a little bit. If not, I could try to begin a little trek, but of course I'd have to leave the boat or whatever. But oh, look at that one. Wow. Alright, before I even attempt to leave this place, I'm gonna try to find something. That could be a cool memorabilia rack. This one's nice, but... I like the look of this one. Alright, what I'm gonna do... I remember the last time persons were dying over the rocks that I had found. So, if anybody wants a... Uh, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let, let it be two of them. Anybody that wants a commemorative rock, I'll do it up real nice for you. Drop it in the comments and just say, I want this memorabilia of your trip. It could be either either one. Drop it in the comments for the next couple of videos and I will shoot this out to you. All right, cool. I think I found another one. All right, now it's definitely do or die time. If I told you I was a little bit scared, I'd be lying. But the plan is not to wait here to try to turn on the motor. It's a kayak all the way out. Time it very well. And if I do that, I should be good. Um, Vanilla is over, so I don't have to worry about her and um, her falling off the kayak, as she's prone to do. I did bring over everything else I had to lug. I probably walked easily like six miles in total. Um, but yeah. It's better having a, a lighter kayak and a super heavy one uh, for me at the moment. Oh, you saw how, that, how powerful that wave was. All right. I will turn this back on as soon as I break through this. I'm, I'm literally trying to figure out if I could keep it like this and then when that wave come up I can just jump on it and ride it out oh my gosh I am literally nervous all right come adapt 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 It's a big one. Go on, go on, push, 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 push. Oh my 
gosh, nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the actual hell? If I could get her nose front, I would be good. But when she goes side on, and I'm not gonna lie, she holds up good. She doesn't, she doesn't toss over. Oh crap, it's pulling me back out there. Oh, it comes a big one! <laughs> no, I just want to go home. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's fun. That's fun. Uh, just have to wait for the right moment, the right moment, the right moment. The other side of the island is good. I'm not worrying about entering back to where my car is. That is the... Oh my God! Woo, woo, a big one, a big one, a big one! Damn it! I'm not worrying about entering back to where my car is. That's, that's easy. It's just here. Here is where all the big swells are. How unfortunate. Yeah, I think it's best to live to fight another day. I don't think it is impossible. But I think all this stuff boils down to also experience and I, I really don't want the... I mean, if a kayak by itself flips over, that would be okay. Because you could easily flip it back over and the water would push it back to shore. But the engine, I can't afford that to be flipped over for it to get waterlogged. Because that would be a setback. So, we'll live to fight another day for the moment. Let's do some exercises. 